there's always been one mountain that captured my heart, a mountain I've dreamed of conquering for as long as I can remember. Mount Pulag. They call it the Playground of the Gods. And for my birthday this year, I decided to give myself the gift of reaching its summit. This was not just another hike. It was a personal journey, a dream waiting to be fulfilled. The adventure began late at night. We knew the journey ahead would be long, but the idea of seeing Mount Pulag's legendary views made it all worthwhile. As the van glided through the winding roads in the darkness, I couldn't help but wonder what the next 24 hours would bring. We arrived at the DENR office just as the first hint of dawn broke through the sky. Here, we attended the mandatory orientation, a safety briefing to ensure every hiker respects the sacredness of the mountain. After the orientation, we headed to Kabayan Benguet, where we would spend the night. The beauty of Kabayan took my breath away. Terraced fields that seemed to stretch forever, and clouds that danced around the mountains like whispers from another world. It felt like the kind of place where time slows down and nature speaks directly to your soul. I remember standing there, thinking, if the view here is this incredible, what would the summit of Mount Pulag have in store? We slept early that night, knowing that tomorrow's challenge would start long before sunrise. At 1 a.m., the alarm jolted us awake. We dressed quickly, ate a light breakfast, and checked our gear. The anticipation was palpable. Today was the day. In just a few short hours, we'd be standing on the roof of Luzon, watching the world wake up. At 2 a.m. sharp, we hit the trail. Our headlamps flickered through the darkness as we started the climb. The cool night air wrapped around us, and the only sounds were the crunch of our boots on the path and the rustling of the trees. We chose the Ambangeg Trail, known for its gradual ascent and beautiful scenery, but in the dark, all we could see were shadows of what lay ahead. As dawn slowly approached, the landscape around us began to reveal itself. First, we passed through the pine forest, tall, ancient trees standing like sentinels, their scent filling the cool air. Next, we entered the mossy forest, where the ground felt soft beneath our feet, and everything was covered in a blanket of rich green moss. Then, we reached the playground of the gods, a highland grassland so vast and otherworldly, it felt like stepping into a dream. And then, the moment I had waited for. We reached a clearing just in time to witness the sun breaking through the horizon. Below us, an endless sea of clouds stretched out, as if the entire world had been swallowed by cotton. It felt like standing on the edge of the universe, where the sky met the earth in perfect harmony. I stood there in silence, overwhelmed by the beauty of it all, and in that moment, I felt a deep connection to the mountain, the sky, and everything around me. It was humbling, breathtaking, and something I will never forget. After taking a moment to soak in the incredible view, we continued our trek upward. Each step brought us closer to the summit, the air growing thinner but our excitement building with every meter. The terrain shifted, becoming more open as we left the mossy forest behind. The higher we climbed, the more the landscape opened up, revealing the grandeur of the mountain all around us. We knew the summit was near. Seven hours to promise a trail. We started dragging 2 a.m.
At last, we reach the summit of Mount Pulak. Mountains upon mountains, stretching as far as the eye could see. This was it. This was the moment I had dreamed of for so long. Standing on the highest point in Luzon, I felt an incredible sense of accomplishment, like I had not just conquered a mountain, but a piece of myself. After spending some time at the top, it was time to descend. Going down was easier, but I made sure to soak in every bit of the scenery. It was a long, steady walk back, but every step felt lighter, knowing that I had finally lived my dream. We returned to Kabayan, where we had one last glimpse of its terraced fields and mist-covered hills before heading home. This wasn't just a hike. It was a celebration of nature, of dreams, and of pushing myself to new heights. And as I head back to reality, I know that a part of me will always stay up there, in the playground of the gods. Thank you for joining me on this unforgettable adventure to Mount Pulag. This journey was a dream come true, but it's just one of the many incredible places I've explored. If you enjoyed this video, I invite you to check out my other travel experiences, where I continue to chase new horizons, explore hidden gems, and push myself to new heights. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on the next adventure. Until then, keep dreaming, keep exploring, and I'll see you on the next trip.